Hello. Another weekend and I'm off to Uti. I should have started this much earlier, but I didn't start recording because and I was just in a mood to ride and not uh, record or talk anything. So left home by about 6.45, 7 o'clock and being a Friday, um, there's no crowd at all. Peaceful ride and uh, I was able to reach, uh, what is it called, Mysore in about 2 hours time. And uh, now I'm actually climbing the ghat. So this is through Masanagudi. And I guess you would have seen in my previous videos too, this is the route that I always take. I don't prefer taking the uh, Paikara route, Paikara Gudalur, which is mostly the wider road, which is also beautiful, no doubt. But uh, if you are into motorcycling or uh, love driving a car, these narrow hairpin bends are what's more fun than um, those long sweeping corners. So Bangalore the temperature was about 33 to 34 and uh, Uti is about 20 so I looked up places around as to which is closest and um, pleasant so Uti is my go-to place and always has been so but this time I'm solo Asha is at home and um, The other friends weren't able to take off because of, um, let's say, super short notice as I always do. And uh, when the guards are actually empty, you rather feel like riding pleasantly and not wanting to even belt because other days you will have so many people on this uh, uphill where they're new and uh, a fully loaded Santro or a i10 and the guys wouldn't be able to drive so and it's a pain you really don't enjoy it because they block you and sometimes they'll be almost rolling backwards because they really don't have the control over the manual not all but some guys learning and uh, for them they don't realize that this is actually steeper than it uh, seems Hmm, 27 of 36. So I was here last month. Yeah, Jan end or Feb 1st. No, Feb 14th. Oh, yeah, I was here Feb 14th itself. So, what I see is if on the move, right, you don't feel the temperature much, it's only when you stand or stop, take a break. So, the good thing is to just keep riding. And uh, yes, about riding. So here, um, I am currently running on a one teeth lesser in the front. The stock on the Tiger is 16 and the rear is 50. This is the number of tooths. Then um, with the 15, the bike is really, really nice to ride around in uh, these heaven bends or guards, slow turns, right? Not, uh, yeah, at slow speeds. Um, it picks up much faster, better and uh, really fun to ride. However, I don't like this so much on the highway because it is kind of like an overexcited puppy where, uh, I mean, too much of enthusiasm. I really don't uh, like that while I'm cruising. I like to just keep it at uh, 100 or 120 and uh, about four, five, five and a half. But with this, uh, theoretically, it just increases about 300 RPM or 400 RPM on each uh, gear to do the same speed. But uh, practically, that doesn't seem so. So right now, if you see, I was taking that uh, hairpin bend on the third. So it raises your torque band up and... Uh, it makes it much nicer so basically you are revving up much faster 
so it's enjoyable i think uh, the 800 owner should give it a try because uh, if you have ridden the 900 the one up on this makes it feel very 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 similar to the 900 where the low end is excellent low end mid range but uh, i kind of don't like the top end because of the additional uh, revs added there i know it's a trade off but if you are looking primarily for uh, off-roading and uh, pretty much city riding and stuff right it's really nice i would recommend uh, you actually try this it's about 1200 or 1300 i think so give that a shot because mostly what happens on these big bikes is due to the higher torque right uh, the front starts wearing a lot faster than the rear so when you see that it's about time that you have the sprocket wearing off uh, try going in for a replacement one with a lower teeth if you don't like it maybe then go back to the 16 but uh, I would say it's worth giving a shot to the 15 oh, I can already feel a few degrees dropping let's see what the temperature is on the meter after this another problem that I have right now is my cone set is kind of too uh, it's getting stuck basically so i've changed it once and this i think it needs greasing because right now with my inputs where i'm pointing it to go and um, there's a lot of understeer it just doesn't want to respond uh, to it at the same time that i do there is a big lag so i'm not really very confident to push it like uh, previous rides yeah but still I, like I mentioned with this particular one where there is no traffic <laughs> I would rather enjoy riding peacefully and it's all empty you're very sure that there's nobody who's coming on the opposite side so here look it didn't just want to turn to the right at all cone is getting held oh, temperature what is the temperature let's see it is uh, 28 okay that's what it says 28 it doesn't feel like but I can actually feel the cool breeze hitting my face I'm riding with the visor open now if there's additional noise excuse thing is if this thing had a slipper clutch it would have been nice I don't need the quick shifter but 
that slipper clutch would have made a difference because right now that one see if i downshift and i want to go in there is very very high probability that my rear would lock up and slide of 36 gets over so fast maybe I'll come down later with another round in the evening when it's a little more pleasant stand stand uh oh you have to stand on and we're up so the temperature now is 24.5 Oh, boss, boss. 